Did you know Marie Curie spent decades studying radiation long before scientists understood how dangerous it was? In the late 1800s and early 1900s, she and her husband Pierre worked with pitch blende, the ore containing uranium, and they often carried samples in their pockets or kept them on their desks. Marie noticed something strange early on. The purified radium salts glowed at night with a faint bluish light. She found it mesmerizing and sometimes kept the glowing vials in her drawer like tiny lanterns. At the time, no one understood the health risks. Marie worked for years in poorly ventilated sheds, handling radioactive material with no gloves, no protection, and no shielding. She often felt exhausted and suffered chronic pain, but she believed it came from overwork. Her notebooks, research papers, and laboratory equipment became so saturated with radiation that even today, over a hundred years later, they are still radioactive. To access her original research notes in Paris, modern researchers must sign a safety waiver and wear protective gear. Marie Curie eventually developed a plastic anemia, almost certainly caused by long-term radiation exposure. She died in 1934. Even her body and coffin are radioactive. When she was reinterred in the Pantheon in 1995, workers had to use special lead-lined containment to safely move her remains. Despite the danger she never fully realized, her discoveries in radioactivity transformed science and medicine forever. From cancer treatments to modern nuclear physics,